ladies and gentlemen i welcome everybody on this platform as you know already here is the enhancing year platform and today we are going to treat a topic under biology and as also a, a sub topic under the topic we are going to treat and the topic we are going to deal with is cell biology and under the cells we are going to treat cell cycle which constitute the mitosis and the meiosis so as you know already um, when we talk of the cell cycle um, they are the uh, interactions or the activities that takes place in eukaryotic cells which result in their division so let's write something down. So the cell cycle, the cell cycle, cycle is the activities, activities that takes place in the cells of E. Carrot. The cells, the cells of, of eukaryotes in which result result in their division or multiplication. So like I said, the processes involves two different processes and they are the mitosis, as you heard already, mitosis, mitosis and meiosis, meiosis. Uh, okay. Looking at mitosis and meiosis, there is another sub minor subtopic. There is another minor process that takes place, and the processes involved in both the mitosis and the meiosis. And we have the processes to be so the division of this one, division of this one is in two branches. You have the karyokines, karyokinesis, and the cytokines, cytokinesis, and karyokinesis simply means the division, the division of the nucleus, the division of the nucleus. Division of the nucleus and cytokinesis, as its name sounds, the division of the cytoplasm. Division of the cytoplasm. So, um, let's start with mitosis. Mitosis. When we talk of mitosis, we simply mean the division of a cell to form two identical daughter cells, which contains the same chromosomes as the parent cells. And after all, um, the question is, why do cells undergo division? We can be asked, why do cells undergo division? Cells replicate or undergo cell division in order to replenish the older or in order to replace the dead, the sclerenchyma cells in the body. And 
mitosis as i said already after the mitosis after the process you could see that two identical daughter cells will be formed and the daughter cell that will be formed contains the same number of chromosomes as the parent cells so let's look at the process and before the processes can take place there is a minor process that must that the cell must undergo before the cell the mitosis takes place and, the, and that process is, is not accounted as a major process because mitotic activity doesn't occur in that process then the process is the interface stage the interface stage interface stage and in here at the interface stage sorry at the interface stage at the interface stage at the interface stage here is a resting stage of the cell. In here, the cell, everything within the cells becomes immobile for 12 to 24 hours before mitosis begins. So at the interface stage, you can see that Let's, let's take eukaryotic cells like the amoeba. Amoeba. The shape is not irregular. So let's assume this is the cell. And at the interface stage, you can see that the nuclear membrane, the, the chromosomes, in here, the chromosomes are not visible. They are seen as chromatids. So, and they are in pairs, nuclear nucleus is visible here, now you can see the, the, the bounded centrals, the bounded centrals, everything becomes visible unless, with the exception of the chromosomes, the chromosomes are seen as chromatic at the interface stage. Here, no mitotic activity occurs. That's why this stage is classified as a minor stage under the stages of mitosis. So after 12 to 24 hours, mitotic processes begin. And the mitotic processes are one, we have the prophase stage prophase stage the metaphase stage metaphase stage we have the anaphase stage anaphase stage and the telophase as the last stage so we have four stages in all the telophase stage so the processes begins with the prophase stage let's look at what happens to the cell in the prophase stage so we have first stage prophase Mitosis starts from the prophase stage. Let's assume this is our cell. Let's assume this is our cell.
this is what the cells look like at the prophet tree. Looking at the cell, you can see that the bounded centrals are now secreted. So at the prophet stage, there is a secretion of the centrals. And this one, this one, are what we call the spindle fibers. And looking at the two cells, you can see that there is a dichotomy between them. Here, formation of spindle fibers is not possible because I said already that mitosis do not occur at this stage but rather at the purpose stage. Therefore, spindle fibers, formation of spindle fibers begins from the prophet stage. And in here, you can see that the chromosomes, which are now, which was um, invisible, are now visible here. Those that are seen as chromatids are now seen to be chromosomes at the prophet stage. So here, here, if you add a stain, a stain like that, you can see it clearly. That's why the prophet stage chromosomes are seen to be stained. They have a staining ability. So here. There is a disappearance of the nuclear membrane here at the prophet stage. The nuclear membrane begins to disappear. The, the, the nucleus, which is not found here, is gone. It has dissolved in the cell. At the prophet stage, the nucleus, which was found at the interface stage, it's now dissolved, that's why it's not found here. And the nuclear membrane begins to disappear. So in here, nuclear membranes are seen like this form. They are seen in this form. Indicating the disappearance of the nuclear membrane. Then the disappearance of the nuclear membrane leads to another stage called the metaphase stage the metaphase metaphase stage and at the metaphase stage let's look at how the cell looks like shape of the cell still looks irregular. So we have central chromosomes arranging themselves like this. So this is how the cells look like at the metaphase stage. You will see that the central, the centrals are now at the opposite poles of the cell. There is the separation of the centrals. In at the, at the previous stage, you can see that they are closer, but in here they migrate to the opposite poles of the cell and. The central are connected to the spindle fibers, as shown. Chromosomes therefore migrate to the equator. 
That's why they are lines at the center of the cell. Chromosomes are now at the equator of the cell. And they are in pairs. And they are joined together at the point called the centromere. The chromosomes are joined together. The pair chromosomes, they are joined together at the point called the centromere. Note this. You can be asked. And in here, in here, you can see a big difference, big dichotomy between the metaphase stage and the prophase stage. Here, chromosomes were not at the equator. They were in pairs, and the length of the chromosomes was longer than that at the metaphase stage. And also, there was not a total disappearance of the nuclear membrane. And in here, no nuclear membrane is formed. No nuclear membrane is found at the metaphase stage. And you can see that there was a partial formation of spindle fibers at the prophase stage. But in here, spindle fibers are completely formed indicating that there is a change in the cell and in here you can see that as i already said that the chromosomes are, are, are overlapped they are joined together at a point called the centromere okay Let's look at what will happen at the next stage. The, the, the next stage is the next stage is the anaphase stage. Anaphase stage. At the anaphase stage, this is how the cells look like. We have the cell, the central chromosomes, we have At the anaphase stage, chromosomes separate. There is a separation of chromosomes at the anaphase stage. And they move towards the direction of the spindle fibers. They move towards the centrals at the opposite side of the cell, as shown. So in here, there is equal number of chromosomes at both sides of the cell. At the opposite poles of the cell, indicating there is a change in the anaphase state. There is a change from the metaphase. There is a separation of chromosomes at the anaphase state. And in here, no centromere is formed because the chromosomes are now separated. They are not now in pairs. The chromosomes are arranged individually. Okay, and spindle fibers are, are also not found at the anaphase stage. There is a disappearance of spindle fibers at the anaphase stage. Now, this process leads this process leads this process leads to the last and the final stage, which is the telophase stage. And in there, the cytokines is going to occur at the telophase stage. So let's look at what will happen to the cell at the telophase stage.
And this is how the cell looks like at the telephone stage. So this stage is the cell phase stage. At the cell phase stage, cytokinins okay. The nuclear membranes that dissolve, that disappeared at the prophase stage now appear. You can see the chromosomes are chromatic now. They lose their staining ability. Cytokinins, as I already said, the division of the cytoplasm. So you can see that the cytoplasm will also divide equally, forming two identical cells. So this is how the cell will look Now, two identical blood cells are formed. So, at the telephase stage, cytokinins will occur, nuclear membranes will appear, then the, the cell will divide equally, containing the same number of chromosomes and nuclear material. As I already said, that in my thesis, the daughter cells that will be formed contain the same number of chromosomes like the parent cell. So in here, the number of chromosomes is the same as that of the, daughter, the, the, the parent cell. And I will encourage everybody on this platform to subscribe to the channel for more information. So this is how my thesis occurred. At the, at the, at the interface stage, the cell need to rest the cell needs to rest nuclear material must settle down for the processes to occur for about 12 to 24 hours then mitotic activity begins and it starts from the prophy stage where there is a visibility of nuclear materials the nuclear membrane here the beginning of the formation of spindle fibers begins centrals separated. You can see that they were they were bound at the interface stage by the prophase stage where mitosis is being taking place. The central must separate. Then the disappearance of this nuclear membrane will proceed to another stage called the metaphase stage. In the metaphase stage, you, you can see that there is a complete formation of spindle fibers. Then the, centri the, the, the chromosomes arrange themselves at the equator. The chromosomes in pair arrange themselves at the equator. Then the central will move to the opposite poles of the cell. Then where 
the chromosomes are joined together at the point is known as the centrum X. The point of contact of chromatids is known as the centrum X. And there we move to the anaphase C, where chromosomes, the joint chromosomes will separate and the spindle fibers will also disappear. Then after they, they separate, they move towards the, the centrals at the opposite poles, as shown here. And therefore, the cytokinins, the, the, the appearance of the nuclear membrane proceed to another stage called the telophase stage. In here, if you see that the nuclear membrane that disappears at the interface stage are now visible. The nuclear membrane surrounds the separated chromosomes. Then cytokinins will begin to occur. Then the cytokinins will result in the formation of two identical cells. And, they are, and these two identical cells contain the number of chromosomes as that of the given cell. So this is how mitosis occurs in cells. As I already said, please subscribe to our channel for more information. Next time when we meet, we will treat meiosis. Therefore, viewers, go and read something about meiosis. Thank you.